topping our news this hour, the first shot in the legal battle over the Wyoming Firearms Freedom Act has been fired. Last week, K2's Nima Vidati brought us a special report on the Wyoming Firearms Freedom Act, which nullifies federal taxes and regulations on firearms made and kept inside Wyoming. He now joins us with an update, Nima. Thank you, Denise. Last week, we focused on the politics of the bill. Today, I wanted to find out if it had changed the operations of gun makers in Wyoming. I found three companies that make guns in Wyoming, Freedom Arms, MOA, and Bighorn Armory, and I found out that the ATF has sent an open letter to the state's gun manufacturers about following the Wyoming Firearms Freedom Act. Here's more. Basically, uh, in a roundabout way, not their words, but it, it basically just says don't try it. The ATF's letter to Wyoming gun sellers is very similar to ones they've sent to Tennessee and Montana regarding those states' Firearms Freedom Acts, saying federal regulations supersede state laws even if the firearms don't cross state lines. I talked to three Wyoming firearms manufacturers, Freedom Arms, Bighorn Armory, and the MOA Corporation. They all said it would be business as usual, no plan changes due to the Wyoming Firearms Freedom Act. Although Freedom Arms said they were keeping an eye on a federal case involving Montana's Firearms Freedom Act, the expense for testing such a law could be immense. I don't expect you'll see anybody act on it, at least no companies will act on it until they see how the, the courts rule on it. So far, the Firearms Freedom Act has led to no practical changes on the ground, although many say it makes a strong philosophical statement. Basically, the states and the people putting the feds on notice that you know, we're tired of getting our freedoms taken away and being told everything we can and can't do. Gun freedom advocate Anthony Bouchard says nullification legislation like the Firearms Freedom Act will work best if states stand together. But collectively, I think all the states need to be jumping on board and not only passing legislation, but uh, we, we're falling short by not uh, not turning it over to an attorney general. We have a governor right now that doesn't want to doesn't want to push back. And Montana's Firearms Freedom Act is now being tested in court. Here's the case right here, MSSA versus Holder. Montana's Attorney General has intervened in the case to defend the constitutionality of their Firearms Freedom Act. For K2 News, I'm Nima Vidati. Back to you at the desk.